Hello, it's Friday. So let's go in my story room so I can show you guys what I have to show you for today. If there's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Before we go in, I'm going to show you some plants that my um, neighbor planted in my planter because I wasn't going to plant this year. So it's just a little life and they're actually growing tomatoes. It's just, I think about four tomato plants. And I just wanted to show you guys how lovely they were growing. He actually did a good job. It makes me sad that I didn't grow anything, but this is what we have. This is my stand. You can see my buckets because I'm not growing anything. So, but this is one container. I don't know if you can see my stand. It's huge, but he just put a couple of things up because he hated that I wasn't growing anything. So these, I think are, are these? Uh, let's see. It just say early girl. But these have a couple on them. So that's the only life outside. Let's go in the sewing room and see what's going on. So this is Friday Souls. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Shalisa. You have stumbled upon So She Designs. I would like to thank Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for creating this hashtag. This week, I made this McCall's 8245. I made the long pant version. I did upload a video on a pattern review for this. Excuse me. For a pattern review because I made it three times because I was determined to get this fit like I wanted. I am wearing the long version. If um, you haven't seen that video, I will link that video in the description. It just came out like early this morning. I thought I uploaded it. I did upload it yesterday. I don't know what was going on, but it didn't upload. And I got up this morning and it still wasn't on there. So I had to just kind of reconfigure and re-upload it or however you say that. And it, it uploaded this morning. So I'll have two videos for today. Um, anyway... I'm wearing the long version along with a me made um open little vest jacket thing that I made it um this is the upcycle I made this out of old denim that I purchased from the thrift store and men's some men's dress shirts that I was given like a bundle of probably like 20 some shirts and this is the inside is one of the shirt it is shirts it is reversible I did a video on that. I think I used I used uh, New Look 6344 to do the pattern hack to create this. So that's what the jacket was. I wore the pants and I wore it today at work. So I'm going to show you pictures of that. Um, great pattern. Easy beginner friendly pattern. Finished it in no time. I'm going to get a pattern to rest because I love it so much. But I think I have found some more knit in my stash that I would like to make another but I would like to make the long version because I like the long version and I feel like it's appropriate for wearing out like I said I wore this today at work I put my little jacket on my little white tennis shoes on and went to work um so I felt like that was appropriate and I it is so comfortable and it's really easy one piece or not usually my thing just because of you get a certain age you got to worry about what getting in and out of your clothes to go to the restroom so I, when I tell you this is easy to get in and out of, to go to the restroom, no problem. Try it if you have not. If you have walked past this um, pattern during the McCall sales, the next time it goes on sale, try this pattern. You will like it. Even if you just make this for a, for a lounge wear set around your house, you're going to love this. I'm going to make a... Um, 
I am going to make the robe at some point because I think I want to use the robe as maybe a duster like I'm like this vest that I made right here. Okay. Um, that's the only thing I made this week. There are a lot of things that I was intended to make and did not make. I have a new grandbaby on the way. It's a girl. So I was thinking about making some of these little two-piece sets. So I did get some material, but this was a part, it's gonna be a part of my macaws because I did get a few macaws. Um, that's gonna be a part of my, okay, yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to think if this, I have so many patterns, I don't even know if this is new. But yeah, I think this is a new pattern. I got it because it was easy and I thought it was really cute to make. And where they live at most of the time, most of the year is hot. So I figured these would be really cute sets. I could probably make a couple newborn, but we already, we already know that's not gonna last long. So the next size I'll probably make is like a six to nine months because they grow so fast. Um, so today I went to a store called Quilting Adventures. It is in Richmond, Virginia. And they are under new ownership. And by them being in, under new ownership, the new owners are planning on doing a little renovation. And there are certain fabrics that they um, have on sale. So I've never been in the store. I've heard about the store and wanted to go in the store, but just refused to. So since there's a sale that I now know I can't refuse a sale, I went in the store today and I got some fabrics. I just want to show you show you and share with you the fabrics that I got today. So they had a table that had um they had scraps on it. So the scraps are were one dollar a piece. Um and if you do quilts you know that you can make an entire quilt from scraps. Well I was thinking more along maybe I do plan on making a quilt but I'm also going I'm also want to make a shirt out of scraps but i want them to have a flow as if i was making a quilt i don't know if that makes sense when i get started i will show you so that's what i plan on doing with the rest of the um the men's shirts that i got i was going to cut them up into the shapes that i needed and then i walked in today they had like a bin with scraps and each scrap was a dollar so if you make quilts i'm always looking for a solid color to do my um I can't think what it's called, not the binding, but when you do the striping between the squares, you always, I'm out for whatever reason, I'm always looking for white. But anyway, they had these long white scraps of fabric. So I got these because I'm always looking for white to trim something. I figure if, if, um, if I needed it to make be do a, a bias binding, I could do that as well. But just some white, some I just I just need that sometimes. And I figured these scraps, they're so little. This and this is batik, but they're so little and they're so such a perfect size. I figured that would be great for making those little baby um baby pants and the baby top. Just something cute, and I figured I could make mesh 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 or mesh this together with that because they had the similar colors so maybe i can make the pants out of this and the the skirt out of that i mean if all else fails i do like to quilt so this we this will not go to um waste i will use it to quilt and i also made um i have a rug if I don't use it to quilt, what I will do is cut it into strips and then you sew the strips together and you can make a rug out of it. So I will get that rug and show you that rug at the end. So I thought these were cute scraps, cute pieces that I can use. I can use it to accent or make a pocket. Really cute. And I love this. Please don't ask me what I'm going to do with these, but I love these guitars. 
and I figured that this would be cute as a um, applique um, of some sort. But I thought this was really cute. But I love the batik fabrics. They had a lot of batiks on sale. So next Friday, hopefully, <laughs> they'll go to 75%. And I'll get the bigger cuts of batiks that, that I like to make another rug. And I got black. Like I said, I'm always looking for something to trim. So black and white is something I'm always looking for. And this is just a slim piece, but I thought this was cute. Even um, uh, even if I only get two long pieces out, but I was thinking about cutting it in half, long way, and sewing it together to make a piece of um binding, bias binding. If if I can do that, but I thought this was just really really pretty. And if I couldn't do that, I know that I could always use it to make um piping. I think that would be gorgeous. But again, these were these were just the dollar dollar cuts, and they were fairly nice size cuts. And I figured if I don't use them to embellish something, I will make a rug. So I'm going to get that rug and show you that rug now. So this is the rug that I've already made out of scraps of batik that I've had previously. It's, it's not very big, but I keep it here in my um, sewing room. I enjoyed it. It was simple to make. It probably took me two, three, four nights because I just kept it beside my bed and worked on it when I was laying down and watching TV. And it was, it was, um, was it hard? I don't, I feel like it wasn't hard. I feel like maybe the hardest part was the beginning but I ran across a video, and if I can find that lady's video, I will link her in the description. But I ran across a video that when she started it, she started it on like something hard. And I have a, um, I don't know if you've seen me use it, but I have like a little portable iron, ironing board that I made like out of a little um, tabletop, the kind of tables that you use to to um, the TV tray tables. So we had an old one and I used the top to make an ironing board out of. So I used that and I used pins to stick and hold it and weave it together until it became a, a big enough size for me to take it apart. But if I can find her video, I will definitely link her video. If you want me to show you how I made it, I have no problem. I can do a tutorial on how I made it because these people had plenty of uh, batik scraps and they got plenty of batik fabric and no batik isn't the only fabric you can use you can use an old bed sheet or whatever you can use your scraps and just join them together until you make a long rug i mean a long piece of string i don't i don't know if you call it string or whatever but you can use all your scraps and join them together and make what you need to make to keep it going so that's not even an issue you don't even have to sew them together because she shows you how to put the um when you run like get to the end of one sh one strip how to put the other strip in there to make it longer so you can keep going so you can use whatever fabric you want i just like batiks because the batik is the color is whatever color on both sides so i just i like i just like making that rug with batik and i would love to make like a solid color like maybe an ombre of different color pinks I would like to do that so anyway enough rambling about that what else did i get i also got a couple of pieces of fabric this fabric right here i actually purchased to make um for a make that i'm making this week um and if you watch my collaboration coming up you will see this this is one of the fabrics that i got to choose from either this one or this one i'm not totally sure but one of these i'm going to use for upcoming collaboration so i have to go and find, figure out which one i'm going to use and if i bought enough because i only bought a yard um so if i didn't i'm going to make it work the best way i can but i felt like i already had fabrics that was this the colors of both of these and I just like these two. And these two were on clearance. So 
I might have paid, um, I think they were $12.99. So I paid, what, $6.49 for each piece. But I just, I like the print. So let me show you the print. And I like birds. So I thought those birds was cute. And I love that pink color in there. It's really beautiful. So keep watching later this week. Well, later next week to see what I come up with, which fabric I chose. Now, these two fabrics were regular price. They were $12.99. 12 no, $13.59. They were $13.59. But I have always admired the Tula Pink. Um, I guess, what is it, a company, their fabrics. And I saw these fabrics today and I was like, these are so cute. So I don't know what I'm gonna make with these yet. I don't know, I don't even know if I would, um, I don't know, who knows, I may choose from these for my collaboration for next week. But I just thought these were so pretty. These, um, this, this one has squirrels and nuts on them, but they're so cute. I just love the Tula Pink colors just come together so well. And they have pink in them. So I'm a pink person. I love pink. It's my favorite color. But I thought that was so cute. So I don't know if I'm gonna what I'm gonna make out of that exactly, but I thought that was really cute. And I love those. Oh my god. Look at the birds with the pink background. Oh, be still my heart. So I can't wait to see what I'm going to make so I can show you guys what I made with those. But those are all the fabrics that I picked up today. I thought that was a cute little haul that I would share with you guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you stopping by the channel. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. We have lots of fun and we tell it like it is in the sewing room. So this week's um, shout out before I go I would like to shout out timers timers handmade I believe is the channel I like watching this lady she makes the cutest and most adorable upcycles and I love watching her um she has really encouraged me to make some upcycle and I have another upcycler that I love to watch too but I'll shout her out next week because the lady next week is the lady who started me in really got me into going to thrift stores and finding stuff but this week we're gonna go with timers handmade i love this lady's channel she she shows i think she used to do this for a living this is her jam but she makes some awesome upcycles they kind of boho-ish feel so if you're into that go and check her channel out if you're not into it i tell you what still check her out because just because someone isn't making something you will wear you don't know where your inspiration is coming coming from. Check her videos out. She's awesome. Um, with that being said, I'm going to close out the video. And I want you guys to have an awesome weekend. And don't forget to sew something fabulous. See you next time.